Maig muntag kanyong tanan mga kingsonan, happy sabat sa tanan nga mga kingsonan. Dalay gud ang Dios ngani ana sab kita sa tuang panahon sa promosyon. O mga kingsonan, akong igreet ang tanan nga naa sa ilahang tagsatag sa kapulianan labi na gyud tong uh, wala in town sa simbahan karon kay wala na lockdown diha sa inyong balay. O mga kingsonan, kamong naa pud sa mga simbahan, dalay gud ang Ginoo, no? Naa sa Facebook ang uban, naa sa YouTube ug uban naa sa inyong television sets. Labi na gyud ang ato mga senior citizens sa on man gyud nga naa man gyud diha. Pero anyway, dalay gud gyud gihapon ang Ginoo mga kingsonan nga makadugog kita sa mensahe. Gusto na ko i-greet ang tanan nga mga kaigsoonan na ito nga nanaas silang tagstag sa kapuloyanan. Karong buntaga, alang sa itong pagsugod sa itong promosyon, giuluhan kini ang itong promosyon ng 7 effective principles pastor can use to train and equip lay members. Hapang sa dili pa mag-ampo kita. Ginoong Diyos, uban ni kami karoon sa among pagtuon, gamhi kami, uban sa imong balang spirito, giyahi kami, gamita kami alang sa imong himaya. Amo kinigi pa ngayon, tungod lamang sa ngas mong luwas. Amen. So mga kingsunan, sa akong ikaingon, seven effective principles pastors can use to train and equip lay members. Dili na ito ni Hutdon, mga kingsunan, ang seven. Pero tulo lang, ha? Tulo lang ang atong tunan karong buntaga. Ingon siya diha, sa Fulfilling God's End Time Mission, page 25, Jesus preached to the multitudes, ministered to the masses, but spent most of His time Equipping his disciples to carry on his work after death, his resurrection and ascension to heaven. So kasagara niya ay makigsuunan sa panahon ni Jesus. Most of his time gigamit niya alang sa pag-equip sa iyahang mga disciples makigsuunan. Ingon sa diha, Jesus recognized that unless he placed priority on training his disciples, his own ministry would be would not be as fruitful makaigsunan. So, kung dili ni mo i-train di ay pag-ayaw makaigsunan, sama kang ginisos, kinahanglan nga atong tagaan o dako kayong priority ang training o equipping sa atong members makaigsunan. Mauna ay gihimo ni Jesus, aron mahimo ang Diyod nga magmabungaon ang iyahang ministry. He carefully selected those who would be fruitful uh, future leaders in the church. Kanang pulong igsunan nga, Carefully selected. So karon, don't I number one makigsoonan nga principle. Kaya pito man eh, ang sa pito, tulo lang atong tunan, o niya ang number one in eh, kanang pulong makigsoonan nga selection. That's the first principle sa gitawag og seven effective principles on how to train our members makigsoonan. So, selection. Ingon sa Luke 6, 12 and 13. Now, it came to pass in those days that He went to the mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. When it was day, bantay igsoon, he called his disciples to himself. And from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. So, gipili niya makigsoonan. From them, bantay na ha, he chose the twelve. So, nagpili siya. Ang unang principle is selection makigsoonan. That after praying all night, Jesus selected his disciples. He chose them to carry on the work of proclaiming him as Christ, the true Messiah. So, klaro gibalik balik gid niya makigsunan nga. He, Jesus, selected his disciples. He chose them to carry on the work of proclaiming him. So, not only that he selected, He chose them. Gipili gid niya makigsunan. So, walay rason nga kita mismo sa atong pag-train sa atong mga members, mga kigsunan. Labi na gid sa mga pastors, the first principle is selection. For the carrying on of his work according to Acts of the Apostles page 12, Christ did not choose the learning or eloquence. Ha? Dili tong mga tao nga grabe gyud kaalam. O katong mga maayo manulti, no. Katong mga eloquent sa ilang pagpanulti. Ingon siya of the Jewish Sanhedrin or the power of Rome, passing by the self-righteous Jewish teacher, the master worker choose humble. He choose the humble makigsunan. Wala siya nagpili atong mga tao nga eloquent. Wala siya nagpili atong mga learned. 
Wala siya nagpili atong mga banggiitan makigsunan. Apa ningon diha? The master worker choose the humble makigsunan. So ang gikinahanglan sa Ginoo igsuon kadtong mga tawo nga teachable, ingon diha, and learn men to proclaim the truth that were moved the world makigsunan. Grabe no, gawas nga humble, they were unlearned men kay mas sayon man kaayo tudluan makigsunan kuno ang mga tao nga unlearned men. So, kato mga tao nga naghunahuna nga maayo na dili na gamiton si Ginoo ngano man kay maghunahuna man nga dili na sila kinahanglan tudluan. This man he purposed to train and educate as the leaders of his church they in what in turn were to educate others and send them out with the gospel message. Grabe makigsuon no? Kini nga mga tao gituyo gyud sa Ginoo nga i-train educate aron nga sila pod makigsuonan mo train pod sa uban nga mga membro sa iglesia unya sila pod ang mo educate sa uban makigsuonan unsa gingon sa pagpadayon sa Acts of Apostles page 12 that they might have success in their work they were to be given the power of the holy spirit not by human might or human wisdom was the gospel to be proclaimed but by the power of god makigsuonan Dili sa kaugalingong kusog sa tao, dili sa atong kaugalingong gahom, nga maangkon nato ang kalampusan o kadaugan sa buhat makigsunan. Sa atong nagapadayon karon nga 40 days journey with God, we didn't need the what? The power of men. No, we need the power of the Holy Spirit. We need the power of God makigsunan. Maunay gikinahanglan. Dili kay magsaligtas sa atong mga ekwipo, magsaligtas sa atong kaalam, magsaligtas sa itong abilidad, no makikisunan. Ingon diha, that they might have success. Ingon siya, ang sekreto ikisunan, ingon diha, begin to pray about those you can disciple and train for evangelistic leadership in your church. So, sugdi nag-ampo makikisunan. I-ampo kung kinsay imong apilon sa pag-apil sa buhat, kinsay imong i-train alang sa evangelistic leadership makikisunan. Number two, select them prayerfully. Invite them to be part of small training group for a specific aspect of soul winning ministry. So, he outlined to the Paul Makigsunan the job description of all leaders in this powerful passage. So, Ephesians 4, 12 and 13, 11 and 12, ingon siya, He himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. On sa sunod, For the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, mga kaigsunan. Maunay tuyo. Nga nung magpili ka, nga nung i-train mo, nga nung naay gitawag kong selection ng soon, tungod kay, for the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, and for the edifying of the body of Christ. So the praise pastors and teachers is better translated as pastors and teachers. The pastor is a God-ordained teacher to equip believers, the members, for the work of the ministry in the service, to the service in the community, makigsunan. So, number two, association. Human sa selection, association. That's number two, second to the last. Jesus taught the disciples to minister by taking them with him on his ministry journey, or missionary journey. As they watch him minister, they learn to minister. As they watch him heal the sick, deliver the possessed, and relieve the oppressed, makigsunan. Bantay ng pulong isuon nga. As they watch him. Sa ato pa isuon, ka nang makig-associate ka, human ni mo iselect, human sa selection, association. So ang teknik sa association isuon, makakita sila nimo nga magtrabaho ka makakita nimo sila giunsa nimo pag ministeryo they watch him minister they learn to minister as they watch him heal so nakita gyud sa mga disciples giunsa pag ayo ni Jesus they understood the nature of his mission as the disciples listened to Jesus preach they learn to preach watching the master Soul winner, they became soul winners themselves. Here are Jesus' own words to his disciples, and he said to me, he said to them, "Follow me, and I will make you what 
fishers of men. Sunod mo na ako, kahimuon mo na akong mananagat og tao. Mga kaigsunan, ang sekreto human ni mo sila mapili, mahimu silang unsa. Makik-associate ni mo, makaigsunan, unya mo lantaw sila kung saan pagtrabaho, mo nang makabalo sila makaigsunan. Ingon diha, the principles we can learn from Jesus' ministry and how we can apply them is that soul winning is more cold than thought. If you want to train soul winners, take them with you to watch you do it. So different personalities have different gifts. Help your members discover their unique God-given gifts and equip them to serve in harmony with the gifts God given them. There is no substitute for what? Active field labor makikisunan. So, choose leaders who can lead out in the different ministries you are establishing. Develop a number of training modules to equip these leaders for service. Investigate the very best possible training for these potential leaders and provide them the resources necessary to do their job. Leaders lead and they do not do everything makikisunan. Imong gamiton sila, imong tudluan sila ikisunan. So, aron nga makabalo sila. Not only selection but Association. Use your teaching gifts to teach in the ministry area of your expertise, expertise, and get others to teach in areas where you may not be as comfortable. You may feel prepared to teach in class. Makigsunan. On sa manang itray na to, giving Bible studies, taking members out with you, but you have to feel it ill-equipped to teach members how to become effective health ministers leaders. Makigsunan. You need to teach every outreach leadership training, but you must manage and oversee it. The last one. So, on sa to, selection, on ya, on sa pagyot, association and observation. The last one. Observation, ingon sa diha. John's gospel reveal an interesting insight into discipleship method. As Jesus observed two men following him with keen interest in every work, ingon siya sa pagpadayon, He sensed the Holy Spirit working upon their hearts. He took the opportunity to disciple them. Aun yata nawang yung strategy. Jesus turned and seeing them following, "What do you seek?" And he said to him, "Rabbi," which is to say, when translated, "Teacher, where are you staying?" He said to them, "Come and see." They came and saw where he was staying and remained with him that day. And Jesus invited these followers to witness his life and ministry for themselves. Makikisunan. So, successful ministry provides models, provide opportunities for observation and effective methods. Makikisunan. People learn both in the classroom by personally witnessing and service opportunities. We learn largely by observing and doing. Makikisunan. So invite your lay leaders to observe you giving Bible study. Give the members in your class on small group leadership an opportunity to serve your small group Bible study seminars. Give lay members an opportunity to participate with you in a health outreach seminar. Why? Because Jesus modeled ministry for his disciples and they learned by observation, by watching them do it. So what are the three principles nga atong i-review makikisunan? Sa pito ka mga prinsipyo makikisunan, tululang ang ato tunan karon. What is number one? Selection. Number two, association. And number three, observation makikisunan. O sabon ako, giyonsa ni Jesus, nga nahimo siyang effective kaayo sa iyahang pag-train, sa iyahang mga sakop, aron mahimong epektibo nga muminsahe sa minsahe makikisunan. Number one, o sabon ako, selection. Number two, association. Makig associate kanila, imo silang ubanon sa pagbebus study. Kuyugo ni mo sila aron makaobserba sila on saon pagwale tanan ng paagi pag evangelism. Iassociate ni mo sila og number three, observation makigsonan. Sa next sabat ato sa tunan na ikaupat ngatos sa ikapito ng prinsipyo aron mahimo kita ng epektibo ng mensahero ngatos gino. Ang gino o magapanalang kanato karon makigsonan. Happy sabat kanyang tanan. Padayon ka mo sa pag-apil sa ito ang 40 days journey makaigsuunan. Sa matagabi, alas iti nga ito sa alas utso, magapadayon ang atong minsahe sa atong mga presidente sa missions conferences. O kusbo na ko, invite ang inyong tanan ng mga silingan o makaigalaan alang sa pag-apil ni ini. 
may muntag, ugos mo na ako, happy sabat kanyong tanan mga kaigsonan.